A wise man once said, it's time to kick ass and chew bubblegum, and I'm all out of gum. And thus did he make those alien invaders pay for shooting up his ride. But then, after he had cleared out his enemies, he vanished. But it was prophesied that one day he would return again in our time of need. And after a very, 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 very long time, and one of the longest running jokes in gaming, it's finally coming out, the sequel to that game. Duke Nukem Forever. And what do I see in my inbox? Why, I do believe it's a demo. Whatever shall I do? How about I play it? That sounds like a good choice, now doesn't it? So let us do that. So, have not played this yet. No fucking clue what the fuck I'm doing. It could be really messy, it could be really screwed up, and I could get completely fucking lost, just a disclaimer. Also, as you're seeing here, uh, very M-rated, a lot of offensive shit might go on in some suggestive imagery. So, not safe for work, and uh, don't watch it around anybody that could get offended. About damn time. Okay, so here we have Duke in front of an American flag. Obviously, he's clad in red, white, and blue, holding a huge gun, smoking a cigar, and he's known for his extremely foul mouth. If you gave America legs, it would probably be pretty close to Duke. Alright, it's turning on subtitles in case I accidentally talk over something. And let's check out the controls. Uh, the reason I'm doing this is because uh, Duke Nukem 3D was sort of subscribing to the old school uh, you actually have to read the manual to know how to play the game concept. I have some doubts that uh, 3D is going to do the same thing, but or forever is going to do the same thing. But, um, better safe than sorry, I don't want to start playing this game only to figure out that I don't know what half the fucking buttons do. That would be very, very bad for me. Okay, let's start. Uh, nah. Possibly. Maybe. Mm, which difficulty? I kind of want to try out hard mode, but I think normal mode would probably be a better starting point, depending on how the difficulty is. Normal mode it is, I guess. Interactive challenges like pinball give you the largest ego boosts. No idea what ego boost is, but that seems to confirm mini games, which is good. The Duke Nukem series has a lot of little details all over the place and uh, just little stuff for you to discover, which is nice. I like it when game developers go the extra mile to put little things into their games. Like, it's not really a half-ass game design. Although in this case, it kind of uh, suffered a bit because of that. This game has been in development for fucking ever. It's been like 12 years or something like that. And it's just coming out now. To give you an idea, I was 14 when... I was... No, wait. I was 12 when the first one came out. So, yeah, it's been like that fucking long. Losey. Are gonna pay for shooting up my ride. This is taking forever. Time to stop pissing around and get this big guy back into action. My thoughts exactly. Looks like we can piss into this urinal. I have to control the screen, the uh, stream. Shake it off a little bit. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, nothing like a good leak. 
water's cold and deep too. <laughs> Penis jokes. Okay, so we're starting out in the bathroom here. I'm going to be playing this demo pretty leisurely, just in case anybody has a problem with that. This game has been in development for a long time, so I think I kind of owe it to uh, the developers involved to uh, not breeze through and ignore a lot of the little details and stuff like that. Plus, like I said, this game is sort of known for um, a lot of little touches and stuff. And from some of the trailers, it looks like this game is going to subscribe to um, the same concept as a lot of the series. Like this mirror where all the little shards had their own individual reflections. Nice. Detonators. Guess the football team. Uh, see what we can interact with here. Soap. Wash your hands. All these little faucets have their own running water. Dry your hands off. Anything with hot tubs? No. There's TV here. Nope, nothing there either. Looking at the lights. Really nice glass effects in this game. Just really noticing that. It's very nice. Let's see what we got out here. Shower rooms. Wait, are we on a football stadium? Nope. Although we can take this. Nope. Nope. Ah, yes. What the hell? There we no. are. Come on, no. This is disgusting. What the fuck? Now what? Shit finger painting? What kind of sick motherfucker picks up wet feces? What am I, a chimpanzee? Uh, this is gross. I gotta get rid of this. A turd in the hand is worth two in the bush. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, what am I doing? Looks like this Why is having some I sort of effect this? on our ego meter. I'm not sure what that is. And it doesn't look like the uh, feces stains are permanent little shit stains we're creating. Maybe they are in the PC version. I am using the console version, obviously. The reason I'm doing this is because I do have a couple friends that are sort of limited to consoles, so this way they get to uh, lock in on the uh, game too. Plus I am kind of curious as to how the console versions were handled. The Duke Nukem series has had a couple of console games, but uh, nothing was really uh, developed with that in mind yet, I don't think. Well, there were actually, there were a bunch of games released since 3D came out, but never like a direct sequel to 3D. I don't know. I'm rambling. I shouldn't be doing that. Alright, step one, Alpha Team straight up the middle. Blake, flank left. Phillips and I head around. That's step two. Step three is, uh... Uh... Uh, Prophet? Right! You ready? One, two, break! So yeah, this is the Half-Life uh, style cutscenes where they don't take control away from you. You can still move around and stuff while they're going on. We have a football stadium here. If I'm not mistaken, this is uh, where we fought the boss at the end of uh, 3D. At least I think it was the end of 3D. It was somewhere during 3D. I know that much. You remember we kicked his head over the uh, field goal post? It was awesome. All that stuff happened. Nuclear glow. It's got electrolicity. Oh, electrolytes. <laughs> electrolytes. It's just like Brondo, the thirst mutilator. It's got electrolytes. Electrolytes are what plants crave. Everybody loves electrolytes. 67. 6. 2. Yeah, football jerseys, helmets all over the place. Looks like we're in some sort of team room. Alien invasion underway, so blow it out your ass. <laughs> hey, buddy. 
What's up? You gonna talk to me? Is there a talk button? Stadium? I guess that's where we are. I was uh, informed that there's a retread of the uh, boss fight against the uh, big fucker. I don't recall his name. I really don't, so yeah. What do you think, Duke? Wanna add something to the whiteboard? Oh boy. This was something else that was shown off in the demos. Much like the feces throwing. We could use the markers to uh draw shapes, symbols. We could use different colored markers with the L one button, right? Got red, green, whatever. Hey, check out the blue. Red Must be cherries. Yellow. Let's see what X does. Okay, that's the eraser. Oh, man. Good plan, Duke. Casualties a lot. Eh. Nah, no casualties. Looks like they're uh Discussing fighting this thing as it's like a football strategy. Let's rub his face out. Unfortunately, we can't shit down his neck. Hmm. Hey, I couldn't resist. Must be cherries. I was trying to draw an ass on his face. It didn't work. My drawing skills are just oh, that shit. Man. Good plan, Duke. Oh man, that is I mean, I don't understand any of it, but I bet if I did, that guy over there would still have his arm. And at least one of his balls. <laughs> I love this game. Duke, you got this. It's just so ridiculous. Here we have these uh, guys. They are with the, the, man with the plan, Duke. Go EDF. Looks like EDF. Yep, EDF. And obviously there are resident red shirt Duke, army getting wrecked up. Detonators cheerleader. Nice rack. Well, I did say that very much not safe for work. So tits. Don't say I didn't warn you. Detonators! Alright, let's get this going. Damn. Okay, so it looks like we got our hands on our first weapon. Oh, and there's Gibbs all over the place. Looks like they have some ragdoll on them too. You can knock them around. Let's see, looks like we can alternate left and right punches. And trying to see if there's a kick. No kick, really? Hey pal, what are you gonna do? Save the world all by yourself? That's the plan. No kick. I'm. Kind of depressed by that. The kick was awesome. Taking a moment to look around because the series kind of prides itself on having a lot of uh, optional areas, little secrets all over the place. So I'm going to try to find some. If there are any in the demo. I don't know. Maybe there are, maybe there aren't. Damn, nice shooting, bro. Okay, so... Nice lighting effects. Pretty nice. And, uh, kind of taking the details on the fists there. Like, you see the different shadows going on, and, uh, you could even see, like, the little textures on the skin. Very nice, very nice. A lot of attention to detail. Smash us some crates. We gotta buff up our muscles here. Yeah. No idea what the ego meter is. We'll figure it out at some point. 
because it's there in the corner taunting me. Like, you don't know what the fuck it is I do. And I am all like, nope. So, Duke Nukem Forever, it's been in development for fucking ever. And uh, it's changed hands numerous fucking times over the years. Different people have all gotten their little hands on it. And uh, it's kind of a joke that every time somebody picks this game up, they go out of business or some weird shit goes on. Development hell happens frequently. And uh, eventually 3D Realms, which is the company responsible for the Duke Nukem series, just ultimately fell under. And uh, at that point it seemed like it was never going to come out, even though it looked like it was going to come out real soon, once again. But we don't know if that was actually going to be the case. Then uh, Gearbox sort of bought it up, because apparently they're fans of the series, and uh, they wanted it to come out. So very nice of them. They finished it up, polished off what was left, and released this. And uh, could probably give some more history, but I'm trying not to talk too much, because I'm probably going to be chronically interrupted. Like that. Because this game has a lot of talkative characters, and Duke barely ever shuts up. Okay, this Devastator. Let's pick it up. And we can't look around too far. It's down to you and me, you one-eyed freak. Looks like Duke's gonna play with his one-eyed monster. He's gonna beat you like his dick and various other penis related puns and jokes so the devastator appears to be some sort of rocket launcher assault rifle hybrid and we have oh shit looks like we're forced to circle strafe this guy Circle strafing is what people did back in the days before cover. Sure, we could take cover, but we could barely ever take cover and actually fight at the same time. So we had to run around in circles and avoid our enemy's attacks. You can't really do that today. I'd love to take the opportunity to look at those advertisements, but uh, I'm being shot the fuck up. So, let's just take this fucker down. Yeah. Okay, looks like he's dropping uh, ammo at the smoke signals. So, I just gotta keep going for those. If I wanna keep shooting. Which it looks like I'm gonna have to do. Because I go through ammo pretty quick with the Devastator. Looks like I'm blowing chunks off his armor. It'd be cool if I am. It'd be a nice little touch. Gamma. You go to hell. If you go to hell, you die. Yeah. We don't need your fucking ammo. Hello? Quick time events. Yoink! Ew. You thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, you know what's coming. It's good. Fucking years, it should be. 
So I guess it has been 12 years. So fucking long. You can often pick up weapons dropped by your enemies. Noted! Bosses are only damaged by turrets and explosives. Okay. That's a good idea. Looks like the loading screens are pretty long, I guess. Executing an enemy will instantly recharge your ego. So, from the looks of things, the ego meter is actually our health bar, and we have regenerating health. We don't have to look for medkits. I hear you can actually turn that off. I guess it might not be something in the demo. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Oh boy, a vehicle level. I love vehicle levels. What the fuck? Yeah. Well, Gearbox actually does a pretty good job with their vehicles. So, it's probably not going to be a complete loss. Maybe they'll work in some way to uh, change this up. Everything's just getting blown the fuck up. <laughs> what? Did I just die? Okay, so that's what the death screen looks like. It's a shattered sunglasses. Or sunglass, yeah. Not sunglasses because it's just one, I think. I should not be staring into the boulders. I'm driving a monster truck, I'm like, holy fuck, I'm probably invincible. Let's just fucking plow through everything. No, it doesn't seem to work that way. So sad, so sad. Don't forget to run away from explosions, especially your own. Words of wisdom, my friend, words of wisdom. So R1 to drive, and X to accelerate, or use the uh, turbo. That's where that bar at the bottom of the screen is, from those things. I'm getting shot up. I hope my health regenerates inside this vehicle. It does. Good. Of course. Fuck! Okay, I really suck at the vehicle sections. I'll get it this time. I'll try not to steer on anything. I'll be less uh, prone to uh, leaning on the turbo button, which seems to be causing me a lot of problems. I just want to whiz through that. Call me crazy. I like it when vehicle sections go by really quick. So that we can get back into the shooting. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of vehicle sections. If they're handled right, they can be kind of fun or a nice little change of pace, but in a lot of cases, they're just tacked on. And this seems to be one of those cases. I hope this level does go on forever where we're just constantly driving down the road. Although I do like how we're just like plowing through stuff and how we can just send enemies flying. That is pretty cool. I gotta be careful. The hell? Okay, I guess it's night vision sunglasses. I was noticing that uh, new prompt there on the lower left corner of the screen. Looks like we have some sort of night vision sunglasses. Explosions! Shit's blown up. Shit's blown up real good. Such good gas, <laughs> Somehow I doubt that, Duke. Mighty foot. Mighty. Okay, so I guess this is one of those vehicle levels where uh, we have to get out and do something before we can continue. So we got that little prompt there for uh, <laughs> a little animation. 
for uh, putting in more gas. Wow, that guy just got wrecked. So body parts can actually fly off. Very nice. When enemies do not break apart when you shoot them, that annoys me. Looks like we have a new gun. It's, I believe, Duke's uh, trademark Desert Eagle. Very, very powerful gun. Loud. It feels rather strong. Damn. Am I actually supposed to shoot that guy from here? The fuck? I can barely even see him. Okay. Oh, okay. It's a rail gun. It's a sniper rifle. <laughs> nice little reuse line, but I'm okay with it. Let's see. Let's see if there's anybody else. Really nice, large, open environment from the looks of it. Oh, I should watch where I'm stepping. That's like the third time I've died in this demo. I am a complete fucking idiot. I should actually be paying some fucking attention to what the fuck it is I'm doing. My god. <laughs> I should be ashamed of myself. But I'm not. I'm not. Come on, loading screen. I realize you provide a lot of help and that's why I'm reading these messages but I'd rather get back into the game now thank you okay we start off right next to the monster truck subtlety oh textures kinda had a wonky moment there enters the mine let's grab the railgun now that we know what we're supposed to be doing. Headshot. Takes a little while to get the next shot off. But that's okay. So as I was saying, it looks like really large open uh, environments here. Kind of see a lot of stuff off in the distance. No corridors. No cramped spaces. Any of that. Okay, where's the other guy? There was another guy. Hello? I'm gonna try to grab every weapon and uh, show them off. I feel it's appropriate that uh, I actually try to show the different weapons. So we're supposed to be looking for a gas can somewhere around here. And uh, let's see where it is. It's blocked off, so it can't be there. You think that's where we're supposed to be heading? You think that might actually be where we're supposed to go? I mean, I'm not sure or anything, but... I have a sneaking suspicion. All I'm saying. So, the shotgun. Ooh, pipe bombs. The way these work, they're sort of the grenades of the Duke Nukem series. You throw them, you can set up traps and stuff, and uh, when you're ready, hit the detonate button. Bluey. Am I right? Let's see what's off in the distance. Looks like we're supposed to head over there somehow. Question is how? That's blocked off. Let's 
so that's a ramp. I guess that's what we need the uh, truck for. And whoa. We actually have a decent amount of health for a uh, regenerating health shooter. Although, I'm not a big fan of that. The whole regenerating health thing. I'm hoping there is actually some sort of version where we don't have to do that. The thing I have uh, problems with with cover shooters is that it really uh, breaks the flow and it overemphasizes like hiding and cover and stuff. I kind of miss feeling uh, invulnerable, like the whole Doom concept, you know, where you're essentially invincible and you're just plowing through enemies. I really like that. I'm not a big fan of spending all day in cover. Shit. Yeah, see, I had to run for cover again, and that's gonna kill a couple seconds. Damn! And, yeah, I fucked up a little bit and died. Again. So, anyway, uh, as I was saying, the thing about cover shooters is that... One, you tend to die a little bit too quick for my liking. I kind of miss the whole feeling invincible and just plowing through fucking everybody. And I think that's something that uh, the Duke Nukem series really should uh, aspire to, really. Instead of just, you know, going the same route as every other shooter on the market. A and B, when you look at it this way, um, if you took all the time I spent hiding in cover waiting for my health to come back in just the first person shooters I played in like the last three or four years, I could probably have played through an, an, another game or two in the length of time that I spent doing that. Wow, all the way back here? Fucking really? Uh. Oh well. It's my fault for dying. Let's not do that again. Let's not do that again. You die. You die. You die. Oh cool, their heads explode. They like blow up and then kablooey. Nice. Well, I am getting an opportunity to show off some weapons. Huh, I shot him through the wall. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. Looks like it's going to be... Wait, there were pipe bombs around here. I should probably grab some and show those off in like a combat uh, scenario. The enemies really seem to be rushing me. I don't seem to recall that happening anywhere near as much in uh, the older Duke Nukem games. Am I, like, remembering stuff wrong? I seem to recall them relying on their guns a bit more and, like, not getting in your face. Yeah, like that guy back there. Okay, maybe they're just rushing me because they have shotguns. I fucking hate guys with shotguns. Ugh, oh, it's too bright to see shit. Okay, if memory serves, there's a guy somewhere over there. Wait. Let's set a trap. 
huh. Okay, I guess not. Oh, great. Now you do it. Go, grab the shrink ray. Uh, need more health. Need more health. So this is the shrink ray, another classic weapon. It shrinks enemies down. Oh yeah, it's ass kicking time. Then you can just walk up and like stomp on them. It doesn't seem that we can die. stomp on them though. It's kind of depressing like that. The Ripper. Shrink Ray seems to be pretty slow, actually, and not quite as useful as it should be. So, let's swap it up. Show off the Ripper. Shotgun seems really powerful, though. More Shrink Rays. I guess they're thinking, we should be using Shrink Rays. Nah, fuck that. They are a cool weapon, but they seem pretty impractical right now. And we're limited to only two slots, which is something I'm not a big fan of. I like it when you can actually uh, carry around a whole arsenal. I don't see why they took away our option to do that. It's kind of annoying. I don't like having limited weapon inventories. It's so fucking annoying. Because sometimes you take two guns that you think are going to be useful, and then you get into an environment where, no, they aren't useful at all. You actually need a gun that you left a couple rooms back. And you have to hope that you stumble across it. Okay, we have a turret here. Hmm, explosive barrels? Is that what that is? Haha, <laughs> nice. Body parts going flying. Little environmental details going up. Explosions. Everything's so fucking over the top. Whoa, whoa. RPG? Hmm. Okay, so the way you're supposed to use this, as I understand from the uh, help messages, you wait for it to lock, and then you fire. You'll know it's locked when it turns red. So much cover. Looks like we just took out a cactus. We're out of ammo. Okay, but bosses can only be destroyed by explosives. Ah, okay. Yeah, figured that'd be an ammo crate. There always is. Let's take this son of a bitch down. Alright. Out of rockets. The bosses seem pretty durable. That could be a good or bad thing depending on how it's handled. I suppose we'll see. That it is. That it is. And that's the area we were just in. That's the ramp I pointed out. So yeah, it's not a very claustrophobic game from the looks of things. Explosives. Do I have different explosives or anything? Like, are there different grenade types? I know I have pipe bombs, but it looks like there's another type. Uh, I don't see any prompt for that. Another RPG. Let's take a look around here. This is all that was left of those buildings I blew up, I guess. And 
Okay, it's another ramp. And that leads off there. Okay, so it looks like we have to get gas for our truck and then just fly up there. As soon as we get the gas can, wherever that may be. Really? <laughs> you can grab these gas cans and throw the gas can. You don't think... I mean, I figured they'd just give us a regular gas can. Do we have to take these back? I mean, what if you blew them all up? Well, I guess we're just going to have to hope for the best then. A crowbar would come in but you aren't Gordon now. Freeman. Shotgun would be a lot more useful right now than the rocket launcher. We are in a close combat area. Don't steady. I have a feeling there's going to be a bunch of people with shotguns in here. Just to piss us off. Okay, that area's obviously blocked off. Just like Christmas. Yeah. Sack full of goodies. And a bag full of toys, if you know what I mean. <laughs> uh Duke can push wheeled physics objects through the world. Can we get through here? The Ripper. Uh, I'm going to keep the uh, rail gun for now. Let's grab it and push it down. I feel like we're supposed to do something with this. Okay, it blocks off that gap that we saw on the floor, allowing us to move forward. Or does it? No, the gap's still there. <laughs> oh, are you serious? I think you're serious. Hold on tight! <laughs> hey, we actually have feet! Nice! About time somebody did that shit. I'm getting real tired of being a set time to bring the pain. I'm getting real tired of being a floating set of legs. Second, this. Get off me! How are we supposed to get out of here? Okay. Looks like it's a timed fight thing. Get off my face, you bitch! Okay. Ah, damn. Looks like the physics might actually get in the way. Looked like if those blocks kept falling, I would have been stuck down there. Jumping puzzles. Love those. No, I don't. I hate them. But they seem pretty forgiving, so. It's alright. It's okay. Now that mine cart. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> I guess it moves itself. It's a magic minecart. Oh, cool. We get to do this shit again. Yay! Whee! Uh, whoop! Oh, cool. <laughs> Holy fuck! This is the greatest roller coaster ever! <laughs> Something's lurking. Let's melee him to death. Just because. Just because. Switch out the Ripper. And gas is up. In your seat belts. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. They used to tell stories of a man who saved the world. A man whose very presence sent aliens running back to their motherships. The man who disappeared without a trace. When the invaders came back, they came back angry. Shouldn't have gone after our women. Damn it. Why do they always take the hot ones? Right in the jewels. Rest in pieces. Think I was gone forever? Hell, I'd still hit it. End of the demo? I think it's the end of the demo. Yep, end of the demo. So, that's the Duke Nukem Forever demo. My thoughts on this whole thing, uh, I think the shooting mechanics seem pretty uh, decent. The weapon variety seems okay, even if it is largely just weapons from the old game or, you know, sort of over the top versions of the standard first person shooter loadout. You have the sniper rifle, you have the shotgun, you have the handgun, you have the assault rifle, etc, etc. And, uh, yeah, the humor seems okay. Something I'm kind of noticing is that uh, the music doesn't seem to be quite as frequent. I didn't seem to notice a whole lot of uh, music going on. Which is kind of depressing because the series always had, like, really nice music, you know? Like, really, uh, 
I feel like kicking someone's ass music going on in the background constantly. Seems to be uh, absent there. And, uh, yeah, if you're kind of having a bit of trouble understanding the hype for this whole game and all that, um, essentially, you have to keep in mind that a lot of the people that are looking forward to this game were probably looking forward to it for quite a while. And when this came out, they were fairly young, so they were at an appropriate age to understand and uh, sort of admire the crude humor and rampant penis jokes and just the over-the-top gore and stuff. It's like a really cheesy action movie in video game format. Unfortunately, it seems that the huge cheesy action movie thing might be downplayed a little tiny bit due to the fact that they're sort of modernizing the game mechanics. Again, the whole regenerating health thing and the two weapons at a time. I like having a full arsenal. I like being nigh indestructible and just tearing my way through an army. But, yeah, they can make it work. So, yeah, it's a good game. It seems to be pretty solid. A nice choice, I guess. But I'm sure that no matter how good this thing ultimately ends up being, it's probably going to be a case of it's not as good as everybody was expecting. So don't go into it expecting the second coming of Christ. Expect a really good first-person shooter with a decent uh, sort of weapon loadout and some pretty inventive enemy types. You know, it's not this typical... It's a bunch of guys with guns. You're seeing, like, some various stuff there. It's probably going to be a lot of guys with guns because that's a lot of what the demo was about. But there were a couple boss fights, there were a couple other enemy types, and the little trailers and stuff that he showed, all this different stuff going on. So hopefully we'll be seeing a bit more of that and a bit less of the pig cops. Not that there's anything wrong with the pig cops, I'm just saying. And, uh, yeah, expect a decent game. And don't take it seriously, because this game is not meant to be taken seriously. It doesn't take itself seriously. Don't take it seriously. It's just a huge joke, a huge, sarcastic, angry sort of mockery of the first-person shooter genre in a lot of ways. Okay, so that's that demo, and uh, yeah, two videos in one week of demos. If things keep going like this, I might actually set a record. <laughs> so, see you next time when I play whatever the hell it is I play next. See you around.